Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha if you're brand new here and today I'm going to be sharing with you four brand new products. If you saw yesterday's video, the first video, which was my Revolution PR haul, where Revolution kindly sent me some makeup, in the very last parcel that I unwrapped, there was some items in there that were so brand new, I thought I would share them in a separate video because of course there's a lot of information with brand new products. Now, before I share them with you, I haven't seen them as yet on the revolutionbeauty.com site. So if you're outside of the UK, um, I'm sure that they will be available very, very soon on the site. Um, but I haven't seen them on there yet, but I thought I would still share them because I have seen them this morning on the superdrug.com site. The three out of the four are available for you to purchase and they are on the three for two offer. Um, now, what I will say is that I've seen this happen before, that Revolution products are applied or added to the website and then they're taken down fairly quickly. So if you want these, you need to order as soon as possible, basically. Um, and like I said, there's one that's not available, it's saying that it's out of stock. So obviously you will have to wait for that one. But three out of the four that I'm going to be sharing with you today are available for you to order. But like I said, you need to order the order them as soon as possible. I've seen it happen before. Um, I've actually waited to purchase something. I thought, um, um, you know, I'll purchase, you know, either a later date or when, when I got paid or whatever, and it's disappeared. So, you know, that would be my recommendation. Okay, so what I'm going to share with you today are four brand new eyeshadow palettes. Um, like I say, they were in my PR haul yesterday. I unwrapped them, but I didn't share them with you because I thought I'm going to share all of the information with you today. They retail, as far as I can see, from the superdrug.com website for £10 each. And like I say, there's four of them. Okay, so the first one is called, um, and they're called the Revolution Forever Flawless Palettes. So that's the range or the collection name and this one is called Unconditional Love. Now this one is the one that is not available on the Superdrug site so I thought I'd share this with you. So it looks like this. Now what you get is, and I'm going to take it out of the sleeve, a sleeve like this and if you remember the eyeshadow palette that was available within the Obsession range about this time last year, it had the same kind of palette. It's metal, very much like the one that I shared with you yesterday, um, but it doesn't obviously have the patination on the top. But this one is very, very similar to the Obsession palette, the eyeshadow palette that was is now not available within Boots. Um, but it has this kind of, I don't know, is it smoky kind of effect with purples and blues and things like that. You obviously have the Revolution logo there. It's that thick. And then on the back you have the black sticker with the ingredients, um, the name of the palette, obviously Unconditional Love, and that it is cruelty free. So that's your information. Obviously that's the spine of the palette. So I'm just giving you a good tour so you know what you're going to get. Okay, so when you open it up, you get a mirror and then let's turn it up so it's upside down this is unconditional love i really really love the layout of the pans i love the shape of the pans i love everything about it and i love the colorways it's very romantic it is neutral this one is neutral so if you love your neutrals your pinks your romantic tones then you're going to absolutely love this um, I'm just going to count 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. You get 18 pans for £10. They do look fairly large, don't they? They look quite large pans. And of course, you've got the names under each um, pan as well. So like I say, these are £10. I'm not going to focus too much on this one because like I said, this one is it's showing on the Superdrug website, but it is out of stock at the moment. So I don't know if they, you know, just put that there or whether it has sold out, I'm not quite sure, but you can, I believe, sign up for um, an email notification when it is available. 
So that's that one, Unconditional Love. Now these three that I'm going to be sharing with you are showing as available on the Superdrug site at the moment. So the first one is called, of course, the Forever Flawless range, but this one is Optimum. So again, it's within that sleeve. Let me just slide it out again. So this one is much more black and white and grey. Um, absolutely beautiful, exactly the same. You have this kind of tin. Um, I really, really like it. It's clean. And as I mentioned, I, did I mention it yesterday? I think I may have mentioned it with the um, palettes that I reviewed yesterday. Um, these palettes, they're, they're very clean. You can wipe them down, although they look stunning. They look beautiful, but you can wipe them clean. Again, cruelty free and vegan. And there's a close up of the back. Okay, so again, when you open this one up, you have that mirror. Now, if you like your petrol tones, if you like your burgundies, if you like your um, muted kind of, that kind of, I don't know, subculture kind of shades, you're gonna like this because you've got the, like the, um, like peacock blue, like petrol tone and burgundy in here. And immediately when I opened it, that's what kind of vibes, plus obviously you've got more in here. That's the kind of colorways this one gives you. It's muted, but it's kind of, I don't know, it's different. And I really like it. Um, this one here called Mineral, this one here, I'm not quite sure what kind of tone that is. It looks green, but it's not green, if you know what I mean. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do is go through all four of the palettes, and then I'm going to focus on one, like I usually do if I'm sharing with you a collection. And then the other two that are available, if you, well, I'm, in, I'm going to be sharing all of them um, so that you know, but I'll probably be doing the Unconditional Love last, obviously, to let Super Drug catch up um, but yeah I'll be focusing on one of these today with a look um, and a few swatches um, and then obviously I will go on to the other two so this one let me just slide it out again first this one is called uh, Constellation from obviously the Forever Flawless collection and you'll see why it's called that this one looks like um, <laughs> it's very I don't know, sky inspired, isn't it? Not sky, but further out into the, I don't know, um, the galaxy, I suppose. I'm not quite sure what you call it, but you can see all sorts of that kind of thing here. But I really love the colorways, pinks, blues, lots of stars um, and all of that. And then you've got bright blue there, um, like electric blue, absolutely, actually beautiful. Then on the back, exactly the same. Um, yep, this one is, just cruelty free, not cruelty free and vegan. So the first two were cruelty free and vegan. This one is just cruelty free, as you can see there. Then again, you have the mirror. Now, if you like your brights, this is the one that you will probably choose because look at those tones. You've got your dual tones. You have got a yellow there. You've got your pinks, your purples. You've even got a gold there and one that looks like a starry night sky. So that is your brights palette. So constellation. And then the last one that I'm going to be sharing with you, we'll just pop it back in the sleeve is this one and it is called the Forever Flawless Collection Decadent. So again, I'll just take that one out. This one is much more muted um, compared to the other three and it looks like this. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, I love the packaging on all of them, but I'm much more of a nude, very understated kind of, um, you know, that kind of thing. And you can really see the rose gold on the revolution there on this one absolutely beautiful this one again is cruelty free and vegan and again very similar information on the back there okay so i think you're going to absolutely love this i think this one is going to be the favorite one um i'm not quite sure unconditional love i think is going to be another favorite um but i think this one is going to be you know the one that everybody goes for um, so this one has a mirror again. So again, I'll just repeat it, it's decadent, this one. And this is what it looks like. I mean, do 
do I need to say any more? It is a warm eyeshadow palette and it's warm eyeshadow heaven if you love this, which I do. I'll probably do a look with this one today because I feel that this one is probably going to be the most popular. Um, and then obviously out of the other three, let me know which you'd like me to uh, feature next. And I will do that for you. So isn't it beautiful? Gorgeous. Like I say, I really do feel that this one is going to be um, popular because I, I don't think, we. I know that I have said in recent videos, we want different. I think Revolution have really given that to us here, but obviously we still need that neutral, everyday, warm palette. Um, you know, it's just what everybody seems to love, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna swatch um, a few shades now, um, probably three of each. And what shall I start with? I will go in with plush first of all. Oh, I really love these pans. It's gorgeous. Okay, this is plush. Oh, wow. Plush. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Let me just get my wipe um, so I don't mix the shades up. It feels so beautiful. I mean, I could have gone all the way around my arm there. Okay, next one, I think I'm going to go in with Gleam. There's Gleam, oh, beautiful. And then I'm going to go in with Glimmer. absolutely stunning they feel beautiful really soft a uh, buttery um, there's no um, and when you put your finger in um, and swirl it around a little bit obviously you know not vigorous but um, there's no chunks sometimes with shimmers you get chunks don't you of product that come away um, not with these they feel beautiful um, absolutely love it. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of the mattes now. Um, so I'm going into, I think, Karma. I really like that colour. Oh, Karma. Love that. Um, and there's not uh, any eyeshadow left on my finger. So I'm going to now go into um, Splendid which is just above Karma. So that's splendid. And then I'm going to do um, Sundown, which is an orange, but it's not a bright orange. It's like a grungy orange. Oh, aren't they beautiful? If, like I say, if you love your warms, you are going to adore this palette. Um, I just love it. It's a little bit of powder off my arm. I do apologise. <laughs> I have no, hardly any room to manoeuvre here and I'm always knocking the camera, so apologies. Okay. Um, oh, love it. I mean, that first shade, wow. Okay, that was plush. Now I'm going to get my brushes. Um... I mean, this palette I think is going to be so popular, but not only that, it's definitely going to be well loved by me. Now, I thought I was going to do the pink, that's why I'm dressed all in pink, but no, I had to do this one. I think I'm going to go in with Karma actually. Um, sorry, let me just move back. I've got hardly any room and a tiny table that I um, have everything on, so apologies. Um, I'm starting off with the 251 Eye Increase Contour Brush. Of course, it's a fluffy brush, and I'm going into Karma, or shall I go into Sahara? Oh, I think I'm going to go into Sahara, which is right next to it, but it's a little bit more orangey, peachy based. It's still a neutral though. Um, so, and of course, I've applied my eye element from Revolution Pro, but I do have the new eye base to share with you, but I've, obviously I will be focusing 
um, that in a separate video. Um, and also I just want to mention the reason why I do separate videos on a lot of products is because if you're searching for them, then I prefer myself to watch a whole video dedicated to one particular product rather than um, about 10 products and you have to search and watch the whole video through. So that is why I always do separate videos. Okay, so this is Sahara. Beautiful blends out, lovely. Taking it up a little bit more. Lovely, beautiful. Taking this one up quite high. Like that. Now I'm swapping to my eye contour brush as always from Primark. Um, what shall I go into now? I think I might go into, shall I go quite orangey today? I think I'm going to go into Sundown, which is quite an orange tone. That one had a little bit of kick up. blends beautifully into the first shade. Love that. I would have loved to have gone into the, um, there's some beautiful, the splendid and affluent shade, but I obviously used those kind of tones in yesterday's video. So I'm going a little bit orange today for something a little bit different. And I've popped on a neutral lip. I'm actually wearing um, the Matte Lip Revolution or I should say Revolution Matte Lip from their new liquid lip collection in the shade Brunch. And I'm obsessed with these lip shades. I'm definitely picking up more. Now I've blended that out quite a bit and I'm just going back in with the same colour um, and just blend it through the crease so you've got a little bit of depth there. I think I'm now going into it's called Hedonic. I've heard of Hedonistic, but this one is Hedonic. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. The names of the shades, I have pronounced things incorrectly, so you'll have to apo you'll have to accept my apology if I have. Um, that is very vibrant. That's a little bit of fallout there. Um, I'm going to go in with, um, which shade did I use first? Sahara, just underneath the eye. Same brush. It doesn't worry me if the shades are mixed up a little bit and I've got a little bit of the other shades there. Love that. A little bit more of Sahara, just to blend that down. 
and I'm now going into hedonic just on the outer third. I'm now going into um, Splendid, I think. I wasn't going to use it, but I want to deepen out the outer area. And I really love how all of these shades really do work beautifully together. If you love your warms, you really will love this palette. I just hope that it's st still available on the Superdrug site. But for anyone who's outside of the UK, um, you'll be ready, obviously, when Revolution posts these. And make them available. We're now warming it up a little bit at the bottom. I know it was warm anyway, but deepening, I suppose. I do like it quite rich. Like that. I'm now going into um, Fortuity, which is a brown, very rich brown. going to get my first brush a little bit more of Sahara which I feel we've now lost a little bit and I think that is the eyeshadow the matte done okay now what am I going to put on the lid oh this is going to be difficult I think I'm going to put gleam and go all out with the orange it's like a yellowy orange. Obviously in other looks I could use um, the cut crease canvas, but in first um, testing videos I always pop it on, you know, just on my base so that you can see how it applies on the lid. if you don't obviously use cut crease products. That shade is outstanding. I'm just going to get my, which brush is this? This is the 250 Pencil and Powder Smudge Brush. It's pointed um, and I'm going to go all the way round with that same shade. I really like um, the way that if you use the same shade on your lid as you do on your inner corner it really elongates the lid um, I've got quite a small lid um, but doing this technique will elongate it to make it look like you've got you know your eye is wider I suppose just looks more like you've got a more lid than you have. Oh, that is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, just going back to my second brush, the eye contour brush, going into Fortuity, which was the last brown, and just sweeping that across so lightly like that. So that is the look done. I'm just going in with a little bit of liner. I've even got a cool <laughs> um, 
choker on and we've gone very very warm today so a little bit of the eyeliner which as always is the uh, HD smoky waterproof liner from Revolution which I love I wish they did other colors in it um, because I would get them all and of course um, the mascara Revolution just to finish off the look I still feel that there's a, a hair there attached to my eyelash. So that's the problem with wild hair like mine. Okay, so that is the look, the finished look from, I haven't, yeah, that's fine. I, th I thought, I shut my eyes and I thought, no, 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 um, but I haven't wrecked my look. <laughs> so that is my um, look using the new Revolution Forever Flawless Palette Decadent. So it's the more muted, muted, sorry. Um, outer packaging and it's the warm eyeshadow palette so that one beautiful that's the color that I used on the lid okay so I'll just give you a close-up oh, obsessed that is summer in an eye look I feel okay so what I'm going to do now is give you a little review of that palette and then what I would like you to do is let me know which palette you would like next. And of course, um, I would love for you to comment. Do you like the eye look? Do you like the palette? What are you thinking of the one that I used today? I'd love all of that information if you let me know that down below. Um, I always obviously love hearing from you. Now, my little review regarding this palette. So first of all, really love the actual palette. It's one of those ones that you can touch with dirty fingers, you can clean it. I really like the simplicity of it all, especially on this one. I love the rose gold um, revolution. It's also one of those palettes that is raised um, as well. So it's not going to go anywhere. If you do clean it, that's not gonna rub off. It is raised, so that's great. And I love that the patination is followed onto the base as well. I also like the fact that this is solid. So if you do um, travel with it, you know, you can bump it. It's not going to damage it. Obviously you don't want to drop it because you might uh, break your eyeshadows. Also, I know that you will all love the fact that there is a mirror there. Um, doesn't bother me because I never use these mirrors, but you know, that's fine. Um, I also love the shape of the pans. I'm, I just love it. Um, I think it's something different. Um, I also like the fact that the names are underneath the pans makes it so much easier for me. Um, also, I know that you will love it because it is cruelty free and vegan. I know that there was just one palette that wasn't vegan and it was just cruelty free, which is the Constellation palette. Um, obviously, all three of the last three that I shared with you are available apart from Unconditional Love. That one, you'll have to sign up for an email notification. Um, the eyeshadows, um, the mattes did kick up a little bit, but I've come to expect that from Revolution Shadows. In fact, if they don't kick up a little bit, then it's not a formula that I uh, enjoy. They blend beautifully. Um, the shimmers, there was no fallout, you know, when you popped your finger or your brush in. Um, there was a little bit from the actual mattes, like I said, and that's why I had to blow it away because when I show you the palette, I don't want all um, you know, eyeshadow all over it. There wasn't a great deal, but you know, I just wanted to blow that um, away for when I shared that with you. Uh, but it's an easy clean up palette. You could wipe these um, anyway. So it's if you're like me and you like everything clean, then obviously it's a palette that you can do that with. So the shimmers, when I swirled my finger in, popped the, the brush in, no fallout whatsoever. Um, there's obviously a base on my eye, um, 
you know, the eye elements from Revolution Pro, and I set that with powder as well. Um, and that's what I usually do when I'm testing eyeshadows. Um, so if I was to use this, um, obviously, you know, cut crease canvas, they enhance eyeshadow. So this is on a bit of a base, but not too much. Um, and this is what I usually test eyeshadows with. So it's really beautiful. I love the intensity of that shade Gleam, which is that one there. Absolutely love it. Um, I mean, that shade Plush, I'll just share with you the swatches again. Plush, wow. And there's Gleam there. And there's your matte really really impressed love that they have um shared um or made some palettes that are you've got your brights you've got your neutral you've got your pink romantic you know you've got something that's a little bit different like i say it reminds me of subculture which one was it the optimum palette so yeah really really love it but obviously love this one as you can tell um i'm obsessed with warms anyway obsessed with revolution shadows and i just love it you've got some real well you've got some brights in here but i also really love these two as well because i always like to start off a look um quite neutral and then build it up i'm not a great big fan of um color as you've probably seen with the looks that i do but um, the looks that I share on my channel are easily achievable. They're looks that, you know, um, someone like me can achieve, obviously, because I do them, but also I want you to achieve them as well. Um, and that is why my channel is different. So I hope that you've enjoyed this look. I think I've used, how many mats did I use? Four, five, and they all blended beautifully together. Absolutely love it. Um, as you can tell. How would how many stars would I rate this one? I would definitely rate it. I think I'm going to have to say five out of five again. These Revolution products recently have all been so good. I can't mark it down. I love the um, I love the packaging, but I also love the eyeshadow. Um, the eyeshadows are beautiful. The mattes, the shimmers, just gorgeous. Bearing in mind, it's only it's natural light that I'm sitting in front of, and the sunlight. Although we've got sun here in Norfolk, and it's been like a spring summer day um, just recently, spring summer days. The sunlight is not hitting me; it's going over me, which is what I film in every day. I have filmed with the sunlight hitting me, but this is just natural light, no light on me whatsoever. So what you see is what you you. Um, you will get from this eyeshadow palette. I am in love. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, I would definitely rate this Decadent palette five out of five. Can't wait now to try the rest. I was so excited when I saw these. I actually thought that they had sent me the reloaded palette um, because you know you can only see a certain amount through the bubble wrap. So when I unwrapped them, I was actually close to tears. I was so excited and I was so grateful and thankful that they'd sent me um, you know a big box of makeup and. It, it just overwhelmed me yesterday, their kindness. So again, I have to thank the Revolution team for sending these to me. I so, so appreciate it. Um, <laughs> again, I'm starting to get a little bit overwhelmed by it, but um, I think I'll leave it there. This is my eye look for today. Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts. As I mentioned earlier, let me know which palette you would like to see next. And I will see you all tomorrow. And if you have just stumbled across my channel, I would love it if you subscribe to watch further videos. But until next time, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you. Bye.